All the Christmas drinks. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Look at those drinks. All the people behind me were like, would this girl just move? It's literally Christmas. Hi guys, welcome back. Just arrived at Starbucks. I'm about to order all the Christmas drinks. I'm gonna try. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi. Oh, can I get a hazelnut hot chocolate, please? Can I get a gingerbread latte? Can I get an iced peppermint latte, please? And can I get a peppermint mocha as well, please? An iced one. Christmas tree brownie. Yeah. Thank you guys because i had to just guess them on the spot i was so confused all flustered and i'm like oh i don't know what to order i don't want them to think i'm like annoying it's literally just christmas i'm excited to see all the corps like they've got christmas corps sweating i was sweating doing that restful i bet you all the people behind me were like would this girl just move right i need to find good lighting i feel like the sun is just an issue i really don't know look at those drinks I literally don't even know what I've ordered. It's just like crazy. What a perfect Sunday activity. Do you know what I mean? Just wholesome coffee. I got my food. This is what was like the problem was this like Christmas tree brownie, but it looks really cute. Look. Look how cute that is. They were like, we've got none left. And I was like, oh my God, it's fine now. And then they tried to give me a refund. And I was like, I don't need the refund. Like it's fine. Like I don't want to be annoying. And they were like, no, no, no. Like it's fine. Like we don't mind. And then someone found one anyway. Got... A little chocolate cake pop as always i can't call them to starbucks and not get a cake pop let's get on to the exciting stuff the drinks right start with the hot ones because they're gonna go cold so i got oh no okay okay so this is basically like what i usually get but a hazelnut hazelnut hot chocolate now hazelnut crunch hot chocolate don't know what the crunch is but it's obviously i think it's gonna taste like my usual so cheers it smells it smells like the normal one smells nice okay so they put like crunchy bits on the top i don't even i'm scared to show you guys can you see that you can't even see it's got to be crunchy hazelnuts on top surely mm, it's crunchy hazelnuts mixed with chocolate bits oh my god it's unreal Wait, I've spilled it down, you know what? Can't even, can't even cope. Next one, we've got a gingerbread latte and I am a bit scared for this, to be honest. Like, I love a latte. And like, I like gingerbreads, but sometimes when they're like, it's a fake flavour in a gingerbread, it scares me a little bit. So, it smells sweet. Like, it smells... It smells like cinnamon and if you know me, I hate cinnamon. So, let's just try. It's actually quite nice, actually. You know what? That's not bad. You can really taste the gingerbread. That was an unexpected surprise. It's like when it first hits your tongue, it's like normal latte. And then like the aftertaste is um gingerbread. It's nice though. I just love the Christmas corpse. Like that is everything to me. It's just, it's just Christmas. It's just Christmas. I thought this would be one that I'd be like, ew never again no but i like probably would get this again if they had like no hot chocolate no hazelnut hot choc you know where did i put my phone i really don't think i'm gonna finish all these four drinks a little bite of my brownie it's got like this chocolate on the top as well mm. i just love chocolate i think i could live on chocolate pure chocolate diet me i honestly think like i've got the biggest sweet tooth in the whole entire world. Breakfast today, I was at like one. I had one of those chocolate yogurts, like Cadbury's yogurt, with the buttons in. Mm, that was my breakfast and now I'm eating this. It's probably not that good though because all my teeth will probably fall out by the time I'm like 40. Aim something better than hazelnuts. Oh my God, I'm just obsessed with hazelnuts. I need to go buy some Nutella after this because I saw on TikTok this girl, and I used to do this, but I didn't like do it how she did it. So I saw this girl on TikTok basically just cut up, slice up an apple, and like dip it in like melted Nutella, and then freeze them. I was like, 
Well, I don't think she used Nutella. I think she used normal chocolate, but I'm going to use Nutella. And I used to come home from school and I used to cut all my apple in slices and like put Nutella over the top in like a little circle, like on the slice. But this girl dipped the whole thing in it, covered it in like caramel, covered it in like hazelnuts or some type of nut, but I'd cover them in, ha in hazelnuts to match the Nutella vibe. And that's exactly what I'm going to do tonight for my snack my late night snack. I mean, there's an apple in there, so surely it's like a bit healthy. That's what I'm telling myself. Oh my God. The mixture of all them drinks, it's just like, they're all so strong. I'm sure as well, right? I'm a chocolate cake pop, and I'm sure on the Starbucks website, it said they were coming out with a peppermint one and a snowman cookie, and they didn't have them. So I'm just like, what's happening? What's going on there? It's okay. I got my... No more chocolate, Mum. It's always inspired me to make my own cake pops. And I've been saying it for weeks. Because I, I try to come to Starbucks like once a week. Because I don't want to come every day. Because it's like my bank account would just be like, are you okay? And like, what a waste. Like too lazy to drive here every day. So I usually leave it to the weekend. Once or twice a week at the weekend. It's when I treat myself and buy myself a cute little cough. Cough, cough, coffee. Let's try the ice drinks now. Okay, I'm so excited. I've seen these on the starbucks website but it wasn't advertised on the board at the drive through so i was like do you want peppermint syrup and they were like yeah so i was like great can i have a peppermint mocha i think this is an iced mocha i would have got a hot mocha but then i was like i just said ice too quick and i was like oh my god i'm too, I'm too stressed whatever like, i don't mind a mocha because it's basically a hot chocolate and a coffee mixed so i got it just says iced mocha with four peppermint syrup pumps let's try Cheers. Stop, it smells like a candle. Ooh. Oh. That's just like mint. It's just like, it's like I've just taken a mint and just went, and had them in it's like look at these like all my bags and my car and whatever i carry around these listerine like strips and you basically just put them on your tongue and like swallow them and it's beautiful it's like toothpaste it's like a toothpaste tab thing basically this is this this is this it's like it's just straight mint taste the chocolate can't taste the coffee it's like minty ice well i taste the chocolate a bit there do you know what it tastes like? An after eight. An after eight chocolate. It's actually quite nice now. I've mixed it. ASMR for you. It was quite nice to be fair. Don't think I'll get that again though. Okay. Tell me how like coffee is making me full. Like I'm full. I don't want to eat that brownie now. Okay. And then this is just a normal peppermint latte. So it's just coffee with peppermint syrup. So, here we go. Cheers. I can definitely taste more of the coffee in this one. I'm gonna taste peppermint now. I can taste the coffee. I feel like that's just a normal lie to me. Four peppermint pumps in this one too and I just it's not as strong as the other one I do prefer the hot chocolate so you know what I'd actually say and this is so not like me I prefer the hot drink more than the iced ones and that's weird because usually I like from here I get an iced hazelnut latte so I don't know what's happening there I mean I don't want to be basic but obviously Miss Hazelnut hot chocolate herself is the best one that's just my favorite anyway like I can't help that you know Mm. Love to see if there was like more Christmas drinks like that I could like make and customize. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I would just get too confused at the drive thru. I'd just be like, uh, mm, can I just have a latte? Like, I just get too confused. But I don't hate this one either. The mocha. Even though I swear to God, there's about 10 pumps of peppermint in this. Can't be four. If that other one's four, this has got to be about 50. It's literally Christmas. Now bonfire night's over. Literally the next big holiday event is Christmas. Do you understand how happy that makes me? 
I've already started buying my presents. I just need to like start wrapping them hidden. Hidden. So Ruby, if you watch this, they're hidden, okay? It's literally Christmas. I have so many plans in December, it's not even funny. But I'm really, really, really want to try and do Vlogmas. I know I've said it before, I really want to try and do Vlogmas properly like every single day. I just don't know how I'm going to do it, guys. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Well, I mean, I've got a whole trip in December though so that's fine like I've got a whole week I've got a whole week where I could just like I'm fine I can upload every single day love that for me it's just the other three weeks like I've got plans at the weekend and a few days after work but like the other days after work I'm like what am I gonna do I think I'm gonna pre-film some obviously just to make it easier for me to like proper Christmas themed Christmassy wholesome videos that I'm gonna film like vlogging wise it's like what am i gonna vlog day to day like i feel like it's just so boring because i just sit in the house and film my videos and work you know but i've got some exciting things i've got the trip that i'm going on i've got so like airport vlogs i've got cute christmasy like walks i've got a few parties that i can film that will be so funny i'm gonna like spill the tea and say the plans because That'll just ruin the whole vibe of Vlogmas. Guys, so I'm meant to be getting my... Do you know how, like, every year I get my hair done for Christmas? And, like, most people get their hair done, like, the week before Christmas. Well, I've booked in to get my hair done. But I really... I've only just had it done. And I really don't know if it needs doing again. Maybe I cut, but I really don't think it needs dying again. Because... Well, it's a toner. I get a toner. But it doesn't match my extensions anymore so i have to have it this length so i'm just like kind of waiting for it to like fade which will take probably like three months ish and it's only been done a month so i just don't know whether to just leave the toner and get a trim instead yeah but i really am oh the car's steaming up hello is it on the inside or the outside inside let me write my name <laughs> you can't even see it but i'm why am i such a child like am i five years old you know what i also struggle with like so when i turn the car on in a minute i'm like do i put the hot air on or the cold air on because the seams on the inside i love the dark nights and how it gets dark early and like it's christmas time basically and it's my day because at the weekend i like to start my day about 3 p.m and like film videos at like 3 p.m and it's like well you can't do that now can you because it's dark moral of the story is Go get yourself some Starbucks Christmas drinks because they're so nice. And the cups are just way too cute not to get them. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I went and got some Starbucks drinks. Try the peppermint because it blows your head off. I'm not joking. Like, that mocha was just ridiculous. This is not hot chocolate. It's a signature. You have to get that. You just have to. And be all cute for Christmas. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.